As we received an update from federal investigators about the crash involving a six ABC's helicopter, NTSB investigators revealed new information about the size of the debris field, the chopper's speed, and the parts of the helicopter that they've recovered. We want to get right out to CBS Philadelphia reporter Ryan Hughes with the very latest updates. Ryan, what can you tell us? Jessica, good evening. This was the NTSB's final briefing on this crash, and we learned today the team of investigators began the process of removing that wreckage and what is left at the news helicopter out of the woods. You can see that truck right there with the heavy machinery. We are told this is what's helping in that process. Pieces of the helicopter, they are being loaded onto the trailer and taken to a secure location to be carefully examined. And on the second day of investigating, the NTSB revealed that the debris field is larger than originally thought. The aircraft hit at a very high speed. The NTSB providing new details after its team of specialists carefully examined the wreckage of the six ABC chopper for a second day and surveyed a debris field now believed to be the size of two football fields inside the Wharton State Forest. We've confirmed that we have all four corners of the helicopter. New pictures released by the NTSB show the extensive damage. Parts of the helicopter broken apart and what looks to be the control panel on the ground where the chopper crashed Tuesday night and caught fire. Investigators revealing they found all four corners of the chopper, the nose, tail, and both sides. All four main rotor blades and both tail rotor blades are there also. The NTSB says chopper six appeared to be on course as the crew was returning from an assignment at the Jersey Shore and heading to the Northeast Philadelphia Airport. But flight tracker data shows it started losing altitude around 8 p.m. and went down in a remote area of the forest in Washington Township, Burlington County. The NTSB's job is to figure out what went wrong. Both men on board, the pilot, 67-year-old Monroe Smith, and the photographer, 45-year-old Christopher Doherty, died in the crash. The NTSB is now sifting through the helicopter's maintenance records, looking into the pilot and his background and the weather conditions at the time of the crash. We looked at the engine, and the engine displays what we call power signatures, which indicates that it was under power during the impact sequence. And the NTSB says the transmission was also functional. Right now, in the early stages of this investigation, it's trying to rule things out by determining what went right in order to learn what went wrong. We are told a preliminary report will be issued in about 10 to 15 days. We are live tonight in Shimong Township. Ryan Hughes. Jessica, back to you. It's really fascinating how they put all those pieces together. Ryan, thank you. And we are monitoring any and all developments in this investigation. Of course, our heart goes out to the 6ABC family. And you can keep up to date as well on CBSPhiladelphia.com.